just a piece of radiata pine. This is Australian pine, which is the same type of material as that tabletop. And I'm going to do a couple of test etchings. And what I want to do is, it's, it's rather a complex design. I want it to really stand out and I want it to be nice and crisp so I'm going to engrave it on first and then I'm going to cut all the way around the edges of every single item in that design to give it a nice crisp edge and to give it a dark line on the outer side and I think it'll stand out more. So, I've got a little, little test drawer in there, a little butterfly actually, where we're going to etch it and we're going to mark it or trace it with the laser. The first thing I'm going to do is fetch in the drawing. That one there. You can see it's a butterfly. Now it's got some lines in it and it's got some mass to um, etch. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go into tools and come down here to the trace function. And I, I normally just accept the standard settings they're fine so I'm going to press OK OK so we've adjusted our size now the overall size of that now is four inches wide or 100 millimeters what I'm going to do first is is etch it first I want to go fairly fairly deep with this so I think I'm going to alter this to now I'll, I'll say 500 millimeters per second that is. Uh, power for etching I think normally 25 works all right for me. I probably should have altered something here. It's not a grayscale mode. Jarvis is fine. 25% power that is and so I'm going to put maximum minimum 25 because I want it to be the, the, the same I don't want any grayscale effect, as it were. Air assist, yes, I love air assist. Oh, actually, with the Thunder Laser, it has two uh, air assist modes. If you leave air assist off, uh, it will do a, a low pressure blow, which is what we want. I'm going to go with that and see what happens, actually. Uh, line interval point 0.1. Yeah, that's, that's okay. And now I'm going to set the laser up and set the focus. So with the thunder laser, all you need to do is put your material on the bed between these two sensors. This is an infrared sensor. Uh, then just go into the menu and press enter. It's already set for focus. And that should be perfect. I'm just going to bring the head over to make sure. That looks fine to me. Okay, so I'm going to set the origin there. And I'm going to do a frame. That appears to be okay. So I am now going to run this. So let's press enter and we will go.
That is not bad. That is definitely not bad at all, actually. Bring it a bit closer for you. And you can, now you can see the difference. If you, you, you're doing um, a design into, well, any type of material, really. If you just do a an etching, it's okay. But what really makes it pop and stand out and look professional is if you trace it as well with the laser. Uh, I think you'll agree that, you know, it's different as chalk and cheese. But uh, I think we can do a little better. So I'm going to alter the uh, settings, just you know, both lots of settings, just to speed the process up because, you know, time is money. And this laser will actually engrave up to 1,000 millimeters per second. That's not bad. I think I'd like it a little darker though. Just just a little darker. I think I could probably leave the tracing settings as they are. And just we're going to raise the power and raise the speed of the etching. And we'll run it again. Okay, so that's the testing over. I don't know whether the camera is actually picking this up, but there is a um, there is a slight difference between each of them, and I think that the third one is uh, is probably the best, and it's probably it's the one I'm going to go for. And the settings on that now for the etching, I've put a 30% power maximum and minimum and uh, the speed I've brought back down to 500 millimeters uh, per second and the line trace I've taken that to I left it at 50 millimeters uh, per second and I've taken that to 17 percent and it just you know, just tweaks it that little bit, it makes it look that much better. I mean, I, I'm seeing it in real life here. Like I say, I don't know whether the camera is picking it up. So that's what I'm going to go with. And um, it should turn out pretty good, actually. So I'm going to set the laser up now with that 18 millimeter thick radiat pine. Um, table top and uh, we'll set the design up or one of the designs up and um, we'll do the job <laughs> 